Hello mga kids! Welcome back to Mathematics Grade 6, First Quarter, Week 8, Lesson 1. Learning Competency, Differentiate Terminating from Repeating Non-Terminating Decimal Quotient. Before we proceed to our topic class, let us have first a short review. Read the following decimals below. Number 1, 2, and 53 hundredths. For number 2 class, what is your answer? Very good, 3 and 234 thousandths. For number 3 class, what is your answer? Very good, 362 thousandths. For the last decimal class, what is your answer? Very good, 3 and 8 tenths. Let us proceed to our topic class. Differentiate terminating from repeating non-terminating decimal quotient. What is terminating decimal? A decimal which can be expressed in a finite number of figures after decimal point. Look at the example below. 75 hundredths, 7 and 7 tenths, 25 Hundreds. Terminating decimal, prove that 0.75 or 75 hundredths is a terminating decimal. Remember class, terminating decimal has a remainder of 0. Look at the short video. To prove that 75 hundredths is terminating decimals. Let us have 3 divided 4 equal to 75 hundredths. 3 divided 4 cannot be. We put 0. 0 times 4 equal to 0 and then subtract. 3 minus 0 equal to 3 and then we're going to add. Zero to the dividend, then align the decimal point. Bring down zero. Thirty. Find a number. Multiply by four. The product is not greater than thirty. Seven. Seven times four equal to twenty-eight. Minus thirty minus twenty-eight equal to two. Again, to terminate, add zero, bring down zero, find a number, multiply by four. The product is equal to twenty or not greater than twenty. Five times four equal to twenty. Subtract zero. Therefore, our remainder is zero. Seventy-five hundreds is an example of terminating decimal. Example number two, class, to prove that seven and seven tenths is a terminating decimals. Always remember, class, that terminating decimals has a remainder of zero. Look at a short video below. Example number two, class, we have. One and fifty-four hundredths divided two tenths equal to seven and seven tenths. To prove if seven and seven tenths is a terminating decimals, we're going to have our solution. Okay, in our rules of division, if the divisor is decimal number and our Dividend is also decimal. We are going to move one place to the right and one place to the right. It becomes zero point two, and then one fifty four, three. To find our solution. Fifteen and four tenths 
divide 2. Find a number, multiply by 2. The result is not greater than 15. 7, and then align the decimal point. 7 times 2, 14, subtract. 15 minus 14 equal to 1. Bring down 4. Find a number, multiply by 2. The result is not greater than 14 or equal. 7, 14, subtract, equal to 0. If our remainder is 0, therefore, 7 and 7 tenths is a terminating decimal. What is repeating decimal? A decimal quotient with always remainder with a figure of a group of figures repeated indefinitely. Example, 0 0.555, the 3 dot means repeated 5 times. Also, we have 0 0.6363, 63, the 3 dots means the number repeated 5 times. To prove that 5 divided 9 is a repeating decimal, and always remember class that a bar line above the number is used to indicate that the digits repeats. Look at the short video below. Short video to prove that 5 divided 9 equal to 0 0.5555 or known as repeating non-terminating decimals. Look at the solution class. We divide 5 and 9. Cannot be what we are going to do. Our rules 0 and then decimal point. Align the decimal point. 0 times 9 equal to 0 and then subtract. Subtract 5 minus 0 equal to 5. 5 divide 9 cannot be. Add 0, then bring down 0. Find a number, multiply by 9. The product is not greater than 50 or equal to 50. 5, 40, 5. And then subtract. 50 minus 45 equal to 5. Add 0 again. 50, 5 times 9, 45. Then subtract 50 minus 45 equal to 5. Add 0 again. 5, 45, and then bring down 0. 45, 5 again, so on and so forth. Okay. In terminate, uh, non terminating decimals or repeating decimals, there are always a remainder. Okay. This is our answer 0 0.555 or 3 that means repeat 5 times. Another example class of repeating decimals 7 divided 11 equal to 0 0.6363 or the dots means that the number or digit repeats 5 times. Okay, always remember class, a bar above the number is used to indicate that the digits repeats. Look at the short video below. Okay, to prove that 7 divided 11 equal to 0 0.6363 or known as repeating non-terminating decimals. Look at the solution class. To divide 7 to 11 cannot be 0. Then multiply equal to 0. Subtract 7. Align the decimal point. Add 0 to our event. And then find a number. Bring down 0. Find a number multiplied by 11 equal to 6. 
66 and then subtract 70 minus 66 equal to 4 at 0 bring down 0 find a number 3 33 subtract we have 7 at 0 bring down 0 6 66 subtract we have 4 at 0 bring down 0 3 33 subtract equal to 7 the 3 dots means that the numbers repeat 5 times this is our final answer terminating decimal a decimal has a finite number of digits after a decimal point and a remainder of zero. While repeating non-terminating decimal, a decimal has a digit or digits that repeat without end or has always a remainder. Let us proceed to our activity class. Identify if the decimals below is a terminating or repeating non-terminating decimal. Number one, we have 4 over 15. What is your answer class? Very good. Repeating non-terminating decimal. Number 2 question class. 1 over 2 or 1 half. What is your answer? Very good. Terminating decimal. Number 3 question class. We have 4 over 12. What is your answer? Very good. Repeating non-terminating decimal. Number 4 question class. We have... 1 over 7. What is your answer? Very good. Repeating non-terminating decimal. For the last question class, we have 3 over 6. What is your answer? Very good. Terminating decimal. That's all for today class. I hope you learn a lot. Always remember that math is fun and easy. Keep safe. Everyone